Tom's lost his footing. Now's the chance, and it'll be a mark, surely. No, he can't get there. Tabana. The shepherd by Collie was not bad for an impossible angle. Matt Tabana. Another EGT special from the pocket. Take a bow. He'll have to now pull the trigger through the middle. It's a good ball. Down low, Gordon can use Nelson. He's got a man through the middle. That wasn't uh, utilised, but nonetheless, Kaitel. Now, don't discount him from long range. Unguarded goal square. It's all about the bounce. And he knew it from the moment he hit it. Moulton. Big thump away. It comes to Leggett. From 52 metres out, vacant goal square. Oh, he's got it! Big goal, Cody Leggett! Sinclair, another drop mark. He's seen a few of that. Now, Croden, can he have a third goal from outside 50? Kicks to a vacant square, and it's home! East Perth putting on a clinic. The restart, here's Wilson. It's right underneath it. Corbett will make a run at it. Good body use by Heel. Collier, outstanding, gathers the half volley. He's 70 metres out. Which way will it bounce? It goes all the way. There's an EGT goal of the year contender. Thank you very much. Although intercepted by West Coast, guess who? Clark gets it, running off half back. Here they go, there are chances. They cut through the middle of the ground. The ball's going to go long to full forward. It's over Lacassin's head. I think it's gone all the way. What's the goal by said? Go! Winder! Uh, are they still waiting for that scoreboard to update? It's a four point lead to West Coast nonetheless. Izzy Winder, what tremendous what a goal. run off of half back. That's his second league goal at waffle level. Mopped up by Hall of South Fremantle. Immediately throws it onto the boot into the middle. The mark was dropped by Hall. This allows the dangerous Donaldson. There's no one in front of him. Runs it with a bounce to 55. Punches it low. How does it bounce beautifully? South Fremantle get their third. A clever play over the back, and Donaldson with the bounce, kicking the goal. As Pierce trying to free the arms, couldn't do so successfully. Now Wilson received it from O'Driscoll, went with the outside of the boot. That's a magnificent effort. Oh, what a start! A brilliant goal. Peel had the first, and that was top shelf work, and that's an EGT goal of year contender. And they'll work their way into trouble here. Swan Districts from McLaughlin close to the boundary line. Well gathered by Hill, Cooley to Clark, back to Cooley. Could go the journey here if he gets onto it. Swinging ball, it's going to go all the way. Brilliant finish and the celebration to match. On the other side of the ledge of the dangerous Bell. Now, speaking of dangerous, a kick inside here by Marsh. A beautiful kick, a goal. The opening goal from 50 metres. East Roman will get around him. Harry Marsh, a dual premiership play with Subi, striking first in the grand final. Looks to me like Peel Thunder have won the ball through Anderson, who's picked up a heap of possessions in this last quarter. Takes a bounce, jogs to 60. Anderson, kick on goal. He'll it have the legs. It does. What a brilliant goal. There's some real danger signs for South Fremantle. Randall lays off a hand pass. Van Diemen from deep in the pocket. Centering kick could go all the way. Outstanding goal from Van Diemen. It's one down by Glass McCasker, but to East Fremantle advantage. Now running with the footy is Kemp. Swan Districts. Oh, the shot on goal is through. Would you believe it? Kemp. Having a look for options, runs around on his left foot, goes up that out of side. Jones can't gather it, but it falls to Amaturi. He takes off, runs to 50, chips it to an open goal square, ball hits, lands, and that's a sausage roll. Well done to Amaturi. Really good work by East Perth, just forcing the ball forward. Dixon, Hinder, Hobley, Moulton, Munns, and Rotham. So halfway through the first quarter, that's a lot of players not contributing for the Falcons. It is. So you'd think they'd need to get going fairly soon. He had a chance to kick a winning goal after the siren against Subiaco earlier this year and couldn't get it done. Tom Edwards for the win for Swan Districts. He's absolutely flushed it and the Swans have pinched it at the death.
as the ball brought back in and making the mistake there. Jewel over the head of Schofield. Now Aiden Clark, left foot shot on goal. Oh, that's one of the goals of the season in the WAFL. Aiden Clark. And he scored another one. May wearing, told to wait. He's spotted Weston. If it sits, it does eventually. Terrific evasive skills. And then he shoots from the pocket and completes a key goal of the year. So they certainly queued up that day. Wilson picks it off. Bill Thunder just mucking around with it. Wilson sells the dummy. He'll have a shot himself. Goes to full forward. Reedy's the target. Wilson kicks the goal. All the way down from half back. Getting on the end of it there was Tedesco. Van Diemen from the boundary line. He hooks it back. Oh my goodness. Sam Van Diemen. What a goal. That is the impossible goal from Sam Van Diemen. The chance to defend. Next couple of minutes critical for Perth if they can see the couple. There's a snap out of nowhere. Extraordinary. Is that a goal of the year contender for Kia? Who knows? Clark has kicked it though. Let's just uh, have a look at this the pass replay and for EGT, Aiden Clark. Extraordinary goal. That could be. An EGT goal of the year contender, and Ange Postacoglu <laughs> might be making a phone call, Brody.